10 cars on the grid. The first three go through to our grand final. On pole, 119, Ivan Mokes. Beside Ivan Mokes in the center of the front row, you'll see there number 50, Barry Crump, with the leading Formula D car. And on the outside, number 83, Barry Hathaway in the Craft Kitchens and Windows car. But uh, as we go back to the grid proper there, you can see the man to watch right there in the center. Very much the dark horse in every sense of the word. Dimi Mavropoulos with the four-wheel drive Audi Quattro. And as the lights go green, Ivan Mokes from pole position making a very good start to head the field along the top straight. Barry Hathaway coming up to challenge as they come. But already Dimi Mavropoulos has stormed his way through from row three into the lead. Hathaway tucking in behind him. It's around top of paddock turn it's the Audi Quattro of Demi Mavropoulos who is the only four-wheel drive turbocharged car in this race so he must be in with a very very good chance of qualifying Barry Hathaway going with him then comes number 56 from the Isle of Man Ron Hudson with the Citroen Visa bringing up the rear so the leader snaking a little bit under brake in there as he comes into the Druid's hairpin now beginning to pull out quite a useful lead Barry Crump in fourth big Barry Wilmot well placed there leading the second of the pack in the field but the leaders are already away through Langley's gap as the back misses sort themselves out. There is Dimi Mavropoulos, and as you can see, his wife has gone because it's threatening to rain here at Brands Hatch, and tyre choice is going to be very, very critical, but I don't think it will worry Dimi too much. Too much power, and uh, the four-wheel drive traction should see him home safely in this one, but we've seen him lead in the past and then wilt a bit towards the end of the race. Will it happen again? As Mick Marchant trails the field through, so Dimi Mavropoulos comes down through the chicane here below us in car number eight. Barry Hathaway, former British champion, trying hard to contain him with the 1600 Fiesta with perhaps less than half the brake horsepower available to this man, Dimi Mavropoulos. Five-cylinder, turbocharged, fuel-injected, four-wheel drive quattro as the rest of the pack come up to the top of the hill to go round paddock turn. You can see the rather gloomy conditions we have here at Brands Hatch this afternoon. And the more it rains, the more it will suit Demi Mavropoulos as he comes under the footbridge, round the Druid's hairpin now with a very comfortable lead over Barry Hathaway there in second place. Battle going on here for third place. Ron Hudson there and Barry Crump in very close contention. I think a little bit of uh, contact there between those two. Crump going through as Ron Hudson spins out car number 56 and that put Barry Crump up into third place. Barry Crump, remember the top three go through, so that third place is very, very crucial. And that's where the big battle is at the moment for third place between Barry Crump and 366 Quick Pick Moist, who's come through. Two Formula D Fiestas there with Barry Crump in the twin cam version, heading the 1600 pushrod version of Moist. As they come over the hill, Barry Wilmot and Paul Bullivant with the more powerful Fiestas, not able to get on terms with these cars of Crump and Moist. That's the battle for the vital third position. Wending his way down the Cooper Strait as Dimi Mavropoulos likewise comes down the tumble down hill section. There we see this battle once again for third. Mick Moist still holding fourth. Mick Marchant a long way down there now with the escort as Crump. Voice, Paul Bullivant, Barry Wilmot, John Waghorn, Citroën Visa go round the top of Paddock Turn, down Tumble Downhill. We're back with our leader, Dimi Mavropoulos, as Dimi comes down to go into Langley's Gap for the last time. And it's going to be a very, very comfortable victory here. Flame from the turbo, you see, as the driver changes gear. And Dimi Mavropoulos takes the chequered flag at the end of three very and a half, very smooth laps for the Cypriot driver. Second man, Barry Hathaway, now going through. He's through to the final also. And the vital battle for third place now, wending its way out of Druids, down through into and round Langley's Gap. And it's Barry Crump 